Hi guys, I'm Charlie, and four days ago I got my first shot of testosterone. I'm going to talk about the process today of how I managed to get on testosterone. Everybody goes through something different, so it's not going to be the same for everybody, but it might give you an idea of how to do it yourself. So first of all, um, my mom, who is very supportive and I love her very much, heard that there was going to be a pride clinic opening up in my state which is pretty big because no nothing really happens here. So I talked to my mom about it previously, about getting on hormones, and so we decided to check it out. And we met the doctor. He was very nice. And he kind of gave me a little example, like a little, a little sheet about all the stuff that would happen, and he talked through it all with me. And um, it was stuff that I already knew from all of my... YouTubing and researching pretty much about deepening of the voice, fat redistribution, stuff like that. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. And he's like, okay. And he says, you have to be 18. And I'm like, okay, well, I wanted to get on for my 18th birthday. And they're like, okay, cool. So they set up an appointment about a week before my birthday because I was going to be busy on my birthday doing birthday things. And they said, that's okay because they weren't going to do the injection that day. So we get there. And pretty much he goes through all the stuff that he told me, making sure it's all okay with me. He's like, just to let you know, if you do this, then um, you you might not ever be able to have kids. Don't know if that's something that you've ever wanted. I'm like, hey, whatever, if I want kids, I'll adopt them. That is a big thing. So he's like, okay, cool, you can make the appointment. And he had me sign a thing that said like, yeah, I'm doing this. This is all stuff that's going to happen to me. And I know this and I'm okay with it. And um, so what they did was... They sent the prescription to the pharmacy, but they didn't give me the needles. So what happens is I go into my next appointment, and the nurse teaches me how to do my shot. And then she actually gave me some needles to practice with, along with a little vial of saline, which is like salt water pretty much, I think. Yeah. So I'm not supposed to stab myself with it, but I can practice with it. The things that I have noticed so far, okay. The first thing that happened to me was sweat, which is one of the things that they say is going to happen. You're going to get very hot. And this kind of, it's summer, and it's like 90 degrees out. So I wasn't sure if this was just me or if it was the testosterone, because it was the day after. But I was barely outside. They were, we were driving in the car, and I was getting sweaty. I'm like, whoo, whoo, and I was like, it's probably just because it's summer. And then we're walking around a little bit, and my back is itchy, so I put my hand up the back of my shirt to scratch my back, and it's just entirely wet. So I'm like, yeah, that's the testosterone. So um, I went home, and by then I had completely sweated through my shirt. So I had to put on another one. That happened to me again today, which is why I'm wearing my... The next thing I noticed is the hunger, which is another thing they tell you about. So pretty much what happened was um, two days after I got my injection, I went, I went home and I got dinner. And then I got hungry again. And so I got a snack and then another snack and then another snack, and then a fourth snack. I had like a steam bun, I had watermelon, I had a peach, I had like a big bowl of goldfish, and it felt like I was in one of those games where you're taking care of the pet, and there's a little meter that like runs down and stuff, and you gotta keep feeding it, so the meter refills, and me eating was just the meter refilling, but then I would just get hung, I just get hungry again. Then, I started to notice yesterday, that's like day three, that my voice was getting, like, it sounded like I'm sick, kind of. Or it's like, my voice is just a little deeper, and an, like, the slightest bit raspy at certain points, and it, I just feel like I have to cough. But like, there's no cough, it's like, that's my actual voice. I haven't been cracking, but it's, I think it's gonna start soon. It's like easier for me to speak more relaxed, if that makes sense. Like, I could still speak up here and there, and, 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 but that's, 
and that's it. But the thing is, but my voice means a lot to me. So I'm I like to sing. I'm a singer. I'm going to to college to do psychology and music. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to affect my singing voice. So I've started making a graph. It's my voice graph. And um over here is at the bottom is for every week that I'm on testosterone. This is my bullet journal, by the way. And um, up here is the range. Now I put F5 as the highest because that's like the most comfortably high I can go. Like I can go higher than that. I just, I just don't feel like it. So um, what I decided to do is that for each week I would find a different song to sing to kind of demonstrate my vocal range and how it has been changing. So, hold on, I gotta pull up the chords. So this week, I'm going to be doing On My Own from Les Mis. I'm not very good at Broadway singing because I, I just, I just, I don't sing like that. I'm better at choir stuff. So that's that. And the chords that I'm playing are from a website. So you will see me scrolling because nobody has time to memorize. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone, I walk with him till morning. Without him, I feel his arms around me. And when I lose my way, I close my eyes and he has found me. In the rain, the pavement shines like silver. All the lights are misty in the river. In the darkness, the trees are full of starlight. And all I see is him and me forever and forever. And I know. I'm talking to myself and not to him. And although I know that he is blind, still I ooh, say there's a way for us. I love him. Um, messed some of that up, but I honestly don't care. Because nobody's probably going to see this video anyway. Okay, so. That is my range song for this week. My voice has already started to change, so it is becoming a little uncomfortable to sing that I probably should have recorded this earlier and better with no, with fewer mistakes. Um, there's always going to be a few. And, um, I have been eating so much. I have been sweating so much. Is there anything else I have? Oh, um, uh, this is probably TMI, but for 
I'm not going to explain this one because the, the people who know what I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about. And then all of you cis people who are just curious and want to learn anything they can because it's like learning about animals and biology. There, I have experienced a little bit of growth. And I don't mean getting taller. Okay. Um, that feels weird to say considering that this is going to go online. But you know, it's alright. It's all good. Okay. And some reminders, it is summer, so it's getting hotter out, so for all of my bros out there, remember to stay hydrated, especially if you're on tea, because you will sweat so much more, and for all of the binders, I know it's usually an eight-hour day, but in the summer, that cuts in half, four hours. Stay safe, everybody. Have a good one.